In this episode, we will show you my birthday. It's my birthday, it's my birthday. birthday we have a good time. Um, Marie bakes a few cakes, I guess about three. And Cindy as well, I ate cake until I was nearly sick. And I put a new table in the boat in the galley finally. We've been eating in a tiny little space for years now. And finally we got a bigger table, stoked on that. And we released some baby turtles. That was pretty cool. First time Marie's seen that. Uh, and uh, yeah, enjoy the episode guys. G'day guys, welcome to another episode. Nice to see you here each week. Thanks for joining us. Sort of feels like a little meeting, a little therapy every week. Now a lot of you guys write in and say you look forward to these uh, episodes and I'm stoked that you know you join us every Sunday. You know, birthdays don't really excite me much anymore. Um, you know, when I was a teenager and you're getting presents, obviously it's a bit more excitable, but these days it's sort of nearly like, oh, there's another year gone. It's sort of how I always think about it. People say happy birthday, I'm like, oh, but it's another year gone. But actually it's a good time to reflect a little bit and sort of see what you've done the last year and uh, you know, where you sort of stand in life, I guess. And yeah, it's another year gone. Good morning. <coughs> Good morning. Hey, I am 47 years old today. I was actually 47 yesterday as well, but today we're officially probably having my birthday. Yesterday I was editing the Triple Clown video, which you would have watched last week. So yeah, we're working all day. It wasn't much of a birthday, but we went out in the evening and had a little celebration with a couple of friends. And uh, today we're going to do a little bit more. Marie here is making a cake, the second one actually. It's awesome, look at this. What do you burn? It's a carrot cake. Uh, I'm gonna put also some pineapple in uh, with a little bit of spice, cinnamon, ginger. So it's gonna be, I think, super tasty. And where's the other one? That's in the fridge. Um, I think it's in the oven. It's she made another one last night, so we've got two. It's pretty and awesome. A brownie. A brownie. So yeah, going to be feasting on cake. Oh, my hair's looking pretty good this morning. Might be time for a haircut soon. Oh yeah. Well, I'll just we'll keep wearing a hat. That's probably the best way. Here we go. There we go. Oh, fix Indiana hat. So what's the plan today? We have our friends Isabel and Vincent who are in uh, the other side of the island. Uh, they proposed to us to organize lunch all together and uh, we're gonna enjoy the beach, having some beer with friends and having a lovely day I think. Yeah, man it's beautiful, it's nice and calm, it's pretty hot, not much wind. And then tonight um, we organized to have a screening of the Triple Clown video with all the locals here. Uh, the triple clown video was the one you'll see before this one, the, the sailboat racing in, Lo in uh, Roti. So we're putting that live up on the big screen at Shipwreck's Bar at Steve's Place and uh, show all the locals and all the people who were involved in that race, we'll show, show them and have a few beers and celebrate a bit there. So that'll probably be pretty fun and we'll try and film a bit of that and show you guys. like the candles again for him. It's his birthday too. He's 41 years younger than me. 
for you guys uh, just informed Volcom a couple of weeks ago now that I won't be returning this winter they offered me a contract for for the winter of um, 2022 and it would have been my I think 17th year in a row with Volcom shooting snowboarding for those of you who don't know uh, I've been shooting snowboarding for Volcom for many many years now following their pro team around shooting uh, imagery for their advertising uh, catalogs websites shop windows social media for the riders all that sort of stuff and basically just following the pro riders around uh, wherever it snows it's been a bit of a ball but anyway this year I've decided not to go back and that's sort of the big news this will be the first year sort of fully committed to making videos and actually just earning money from from YouTube and and from all you great people at patreon and PayPal and you know guys that are uh, flow some money to us to you know for, for, for watching the videos and, and just supporting our journey so that's sort of a big uh, commitment and a big step for me you know I've always sort of relied on five or six months working shooting snowboarding and um, that's sort of been the staple income and then the YouTube and Patreon money is just uh, the bonus to keep the boat running and, and, and you know not really have to worry sort of thing Volcom have said uh, we'll hope you'll be back in 23 they offered me a contract then, which is an awesome feeling to know that they've got my back and, uh, you know, look into the future and they don't hold anything, you know, they don't feel badly that I decided not to come back this year. Anyway, so that's the stand. Yeah, we're going to stay on the boat. You guys will be stoked to get uh, f sailing videos without a break this year. One cool experience we had last week, it's uh, Cindy, one of our friends who has a resort called Boa Garden here. She called us and proposed to us to come uh, on the small island called Dana, it's a military island. And they were doing a release of uh, baby turtles. These turtles were coming from a turtle nursery uh, on Rote Island, but they released them as they do in the wild on Dana Island and they hope they're gonna come back on this island. So we came there with uh, some friends and that was my first time I saw some baby turtles, so I was super excited. All together we just let the turtle go in the water. I don't know if it's how they do normally. And uh, that was also funny to see the little ceremony. They had the banners and they were all super proud to, to do this action for the turtle. So it's a good sign because in general in Indonesia they are not super empathic and nice with animals in general and I was quite happy to see that they were trying to do something for the environment and for the local animals. So instead of waiting till the end of the video like normal to thank you patrons, I want to do it in the middle of the video this time because it really means a lot to us. Obviously now with uh, you know not going back to Europe you guys are more important than ever and uh, just want to give you a big shout out, big thank you to, for your support and uh, you know the the motivation you guys give us any of you out there who you know have been weighing up giving us support there's sort of something I wanted to tell you guys that I probably haven't made anyone aware of before 
I guess when you go on the patron site and you sort of look at the different tiers, most people sort of concentrate on the first two or three. There are obviously a few very generous guys amongst you that are, you know, down on the bigger tiers. But what I wanted to draw your attention to is the fact that people amongst you who are considering getting a yacht and having this lifestyle, and I know there are a lot of you, and you know you're learning things off us, all that sort of stuff, and, and, and seeing how we do it. That's awesome, that's great. What I want to draw your attention to is that the, I think the top three tiers, 25, 15, 100 per video, if you sign up for those tiers and support us for a season, you actually get the chance to come on the boat for either five days, 10 days, or two weeks, I think, all expensive paid. And I just want, yeah, I wanted to tell you that because a lot of people who are thinking about buying a boat, they'll go and do a, a sailing course or an introduction to sailing or a bear boat captain or something like that. And I sort of think that uh, spending a week or 10 days with us on the boat, yeah, you won't get a certificate at the end of it, but you'll get a lot more real life uh, experience of this is how, not just sailing, because I, what I learned is the sailing part, the moving part with wind, is sort of easy if you've got a logical way of thinking. The, the living aboard, the maintenance, the anchoring, the pairing of routes, the navigation, the weather forecasting, that's the sort of stuff that it's just day-to-day -day experience and learning how to do it. And that's the sort of stuff you get when you spend time on a boat. So yeah, I just thought I'd let you, let you guys know if you are thinking of supporting us and are thinking of getting a boat one day, that might be something for you. Uh, obviously it helps us out a lot, but also it's a pretty good payback. It's better than a, you know, a lot of people give a beer koozie or some stickers or, a, I don't know, a shout out, a postcard, which are all cool. But this would be something real that people can really benefit from. Anyway, let me know what you think about that. Another super cool thing we have on the boat, uh, we install a new table. We bought it in Bali a few months ago and I was really waiting to have this new table. It's a bit more big and we have more space so we can eat together, work together and even having one more guest more on the table. So better for having social life. And it's a super nice one, the wood with the carving with the white flowery shapes on it. So yeah, I'm quite happy to have that on board now. So it's a pretty windy afternoon here on the boat today. Uh, it's low tide, not going to shore. So I'm going to start doing a project that I've been meaning to do for a while. Uh, this table here is fine for one person sitting here. But that's about it. There's, we can't both have dinner together sitting there. We both can't work there next to each other. Since I've had the boat, I've sort of known this, but I've sort of been humming and hiring and trying to, I sort of thought, oh, I'm going to see another boat and their table is going to inspire me. And that's exactly what I'm going to do, but it, it hasn't happened yet. So when we were in Bali, actually a couple of months ago, we bought a new tabletop, which is this one out here. Yeah, we just sort of were driving along the road and saw this place doing carvings and that. So. All right, so I got it all cleaned away and taken the screw out and actually under this table is an even smaller table. So it's like those um, Russian dolls. You just take them apart and then there's another smaller one in there. Yeah, this would have been for a real single solo sailor. That's cut it off. So I think what I'll do is just cut all of this off and reattach it, re-epoxy it to the new one and then just use the same mounting system but just at a different table. Okie dokie, it is now the next day. Uh, still working on this table project. Uh, so what I've done, I've, I've glued a collar on there that sits on top of this leg that goes through down to the hull. I've uh, cut this off the original table and this isn't fixed to the boat. Undo these two screws and this one and you can take it off. I want to be able to take this table out of here. I'm not putting it in solid. If we need to, I don't know, change a water tank, move the engine, anything like that, you want to be able to move all this out. And as you can see, that there's quite a bit of space in this whole uh, area now without the table there. So it's quite nice. If we want to hold a rave party or, uh, I don't know, we could make a yoga studio for three tiny people maybe. So you always want to have these options in life. I think it's going to be strong enough. That's the main concern that it's strong enough. Um, you don't want to be sort of sitting here and think falls down, but would be nice to have a 
two workstations, for example, we can both we can both eat on that side now with the table how it is, but you can't both work there right next to each other. So what I'm thinking of doing is taking the old original table here, um, put a backing plate on there, and then get hinges and attach it to here, so it's a, it's down as a flat, and then it'll come up as a table to here. Not the most beautiful arrangement, but it would make a good workstation. So the table is here now. It's a bit longer, so we can sit together to eat. It's really more space. And we kept the old last one, the small one, with a flap. And with this stick homemade, we, we swap with an old man. We did a little hole in the floor and we put it here so we are so we can have a third person to eat or i can work here on this couch and bernard has his space happy yeah super cool and when we finish and we are sailing we can flap it back we clip it with an elastic here for not banging and we still have the space to walk inside the boat when we are sailing Now that you got me started, I just can't stop. No, no.